The beets behind us are without any leaves, but as you know, we use everything from the sugar beet, including the leaves. So today we are speaking with Marcel and Marlies about protein from sugar beet leaves. We are currently testing in a test factory if we can valorize the protein from green leaves that come from sugar beet leaves. We could take this leaf from the field and juice them into our factory and then with the heating step we can separate the green and white proteins from each other. We are especially interested in these white proteins that we purify further in a filtration step. Finally we dry these proteins to get a nice leaf protein for application. The uniqueness of our leaf protein is in its functionality. It can very well form a gel, a foam or an emulsion. And that's also exactly the same thing as chicken egg white can do very well. Now chicken egg white is currently used a lot in mainly bakery and meat alternative uh, applications. But there's also a very strong drive to remove this ingredient uh, from those applications. Now our leaf protein is very well capable of doing that. And that's why this activity that we currently have with Incosin is very well fitted in the whole protein transition, in the transition from animal-derived protein into plant-based protein. 